All right, welcome everybody. Justin here from Rockslide, 2018 SHOT Show. I'm here with my friend Luke Johnson from Lone Wolf uh, Distributors, and he's gonna kind of tell us about some of the new stuff that they have out today, or this this year. So, Luke, take it away. Hey, Rocksliders. Um, this is gonna be a really exciting year for, for us at Lone Wolf Distributors, a lot of new product development. I'll keep it kind of simple to something that's more applicable to or near and dear to uh, the outdoor crowd, the hunting crowd. Um, since, since around 2009, we've had the, the Timberwolf replacement frames, four block pistols. Uh, the whole concept behind that was, instead of somebody taking their original block platform, hating the ergonomics and paying 200 bucks for somebody to chop it up, uh, we just decided to take the frames and fix the ergonomics the way that we thought it should have been done the first place. So it just kind of evolved from there. So now it's a complete custom platform where we can build up an application specific uh, pistol on the block platform just exactly what you need. Uh, one model that you guys will be excited about, since it, most of you guys, I hope all you guys, are hunters, or at least that you're out in the outdoors. Um, we're, we're releasing our 10 millimeter 45 ACP platform. So this, your Glock 20, 21, 40, or 41 Glock slide will work on this frame. Um, they're actually set up to be Gen 3 through 5 slide compatible. Really Gen 1 through 5 if you want to get down to it. Uh, it does have an ambidextrous mag catch. You'll notice this one has a nice flat 1911 style grip angle. It does come with a swell back strap if you need slightly different ergonomics or you have fatter hands. They do come with a notch polymer mag weld that this will is removable, but really when you get down to it, it's really nice to have. Unless you have fat stubby hands like Ryan, which he doesn't like the, the mag weld. Um, Super low bore access with the, the cutout on the trigger guard and the enhanced beaver tail. You can get really high up underneath the slide, so that's better for you know point on and steep dip, and it also helps with muzzle flip. So we could have just kept with this, but to think a little bit outside of the box, here's your backpack setup where you're early season where you don't want to carry around a lot of gun, but you want something that you can fire rapidly, uh, easily with a, with an adequate adequate amount of firepower. Same platform, Glock 20, 21, 40, 41 uh, slide, but it's been shortened for Glock 29 or 30 magazine, so we still have uh, around 10 to 12 rounds of some decent firepower. But now it's in a small, more compact package, which backpackers are always concerned with shaving as much ounces as possible. So for the ounce counters or for guys that just want a smaller, compact package, there you go. Uh, you could build up a, a 10 millimeter that's nice and compact and ready to go. Of course, the whole line has been revamped, so we did we applied these concepts to all the other models. If you want to know more about this, you have questions, you can shoot me a direct email at ljohnson at lonewolfdist.com, that's D-I-S-T.com, or hit me up on Facebook. I'm sure Ryan can plug you in as well if you have questions about our products. One more uh, new product for 2018 that we're really excited about is the Alpha Wolf PCC. Uh, our original G9 platform was based on, a, it was an AR-15 crossover dedicated for Glock magazines, but it was a blowback system. Anybody that's been around long enough knows that an AR-15 that's dedicated for pistol magazines or pistol caliber on a blowback system is problematic and really is not bulletproof. So we completely junked that platform and then with a short stroke gas piston system, actually it's a side charger as well, which uh, whether you're law enforcement, you're defending your home or your three gunner, you can appreciate because when you run dry, you press the magazine, reload, and you're still on target. So that's, uh, a lot of guys will appreciate that. So like I mentioned, it's a short stroke gas piston system, so that means that it has a closed bolt, so it'll be quieter, it'll run smoother and cleaner. The first uh, model that we built up, we ran about 5,000 rounds before we ever cleaned it, so that, that just goes to show you that it's reliable. Um, it's factory tuned to run anything from Winchester white box all the way to your premium defensive loads, and they run suppressed beautifully, which so happens that they do come with a threaded barrel with a thread protector. One cool feature about it is you'll notice how the lower and the upper receiver mate together. The lower receiver sweeps up and then the rear takedown pin is up here in the rear. That's to add more strength and integrity if you're uh, spreading out the stress diagonally versus horizontally like a standard M4 design. Kind of a funny little tidbit. Um, some of the early samples I noticed had this very enlarged bulbous knob here on the rear of the upper and lower receiver 
and I asked the chief engineer, the guy that actually designed this, what that was about, and he said it was for uh, service members or law enforcement to use their, their rifle or their carbine as an impact weapon, which I don't really think too many people take advantage of that, but since we streamlined it, we still take advantage of the structural integrity there. Um, we did incorporate a last round bolt hold open that actually works. It's not going to break like on an AR-15 crossover because the magazine location on a Glock magazine is different than an AR-15 magazine, so this works. And we did stick with standard M4 uh, fire control group because that's what everybody's used to. And the trigger is also uh, what you're used to. If the duty trigger pull, which is in the four and a half to five and a half range, if that's not your cup of tea, you could always drop, uh, drop an enhanced trigger system in there. But that's pretty much uh, the long and the short of it. So that's the Alpha Wolf PCC. It's first be released in 45 ACP, next in nine, and then about six months down the road, we'll have 10 millimeters. So there's a nice brush gun for bears or coyotes, wolves, meal deer, white tail, whatever your heart, uh, whatever you like. And that's about it. Thanks for tuning in, kids.